In this Bootstrap 4 project, we're going to be creating a website by trying to implement as many as we can Bootstrap 4 elements. Now, by doing so, you can see that our CSS is actually going to be very, very small, right? We're actually going to have only four rules over here. This is going to be our main CSS, and this is going to be only our four rules because everything else we're going to be doing with Bootstrap built-in classes. So what are we going to be building? We're going to build a nav bar with the links and over here with a logo and a search form. Then we're going to create this banner section over here with heading and paragraph and two buttons. Then it's going to be a three section, three column section over here with a font awesome and headings again and buttons over here and button outline classes over here like this. Then we're going to be looking at a about section, right? And we're going to be creating these checkboxes and here on the right and you can see that with the colors obviously it's not the prettiest look however since we're using only bootstrap classes we're going to be looking at a bootstrap colors right so you can always add your own colors if you don't like something right then we're going to be creating a theme section by using bootstrap for cards and over here you can see this is going to be our team these are going to be font awesome icons right then after that we're going to be creating a testimonial section with a customer and block quote right over here and then we're going to be creating over here another banner, right? But this is going to be smaller. So over here you can see that we're going to be creating a button also, right? And this is going to have the parallax effect, right? So you can see as I'm moving up and down, it stays there, right? Then it's going to be a project section where you can see that we're going to be using a bootstrap margin classes in order to get this effect. Then we're going to create a contact us section where we're going to have a form. And then over here we're going to have a uh iframe right embedded so it's going to be responsive and this is going to be a testimonial section and over here we're going to look at how we can have a one element displaying on let's say one side of the screen right but then once we go actually to the smaller screen or here you can see that it's gone right so again by using bootstrap we're just going to get rid of uh, some elements right and some size screens and keep them on the others right so you can see that if the screen is a little bit bigger, actually, you can see that both elements are there. Now, this is going to be a progress bar, so we're going to check it out how to do that. And again, you can see that we're just going to do it on the same background. Then we're going to have a price tables, right, where we're going to be using a cards, and we're going to be using the inline group elements. And here you can see that those cards are going to price table is going to look like this. And we're also going to check it out how we can get this effect, right? So how the middle one, let's say, would be longer in the bottom and also on the top and the last is going to be the most easiest we'll just create a footer section right the setup for this project is going to be the same as exactly for the rest of them and i'm going to post a link in the description where you can see a video how to set up everything for the project